The Porsche Panamera sucks. Everyone knows that. It's a hot mess of a car designed for people who care little about cars and even less about driving. A fancy badge slapped on a car to do the school run in. It is awful. What on earth has the Panamera got going for it? Well, it is fast. This is the Panamera Turbo with a top speed of 189 miles an hour and 0 to 60 in about 4 seconds flat, which for a car of this weight is no mean feat. It's got 520 horsepower and about the same in foot-pounds of torque, and together, that's a lively package. Okay, yeah, it's fast and it's powerful, but apart from power and speed, what has the Panamera got going for it? Well, it's quite spacious and practical. They say the 911 is the only supercar you can live with on a daily basis, and that's certainly true as long as you don't have to ferry around more than one person and a handbag. If you've actually got some passengers and some luggage to take, you're bang out of luck. Have you ever tried using the back seats in a 911? If you can't chop off your legs for the duration of the trip, you're not going to be able to fit in the back. The Panamera, however, because the engine isn't in the back, has room for a really big boot. And because it's the length it is, has two proper seats in the back. Comfortable seats with legroom and rear entertainment systems. Well, of course it's spacious and practical. I mean, look at it. But apart from being spacious, practical, powerful and fast, what has it got going for it? I mean, it's front engine for Pete's sake. Porsche are known for their rear engine and mid engine cars. What on earth do they know about making front engine cars? Well, yeah, except the 944, the 924, the 928 GTS was awesome, the 968. No, no, you're right. They are pretty damn good at making front engine cars. Okay, well, apart from being front engine, spacious, practical, fast and powerful, what has this car got going for it? It's bad for the environment. It is bad for the environment. It's huge, it's heavy, it's got a big old V8 engine. This car is bad for the environment. Well, yeah, that is true. But there is a hybrid version of the Panamera, which, if you drive it responsibly, will get you over 90 miles to the gallon. Okay, so potentially it's very responsible, it's front-engined, it's spacious, it's practical, it's fast and it's powerful, but it's ugly. Everyone knows the Porsche Panamera is bulbous, disproportionate and... Well, not from this angle. From this angle it looks kind of badass, but if you come around here then... No, that's still... No, that's still kind of badass. This thing looks totally awesome! Why did no one tell me this? Okay, okay, so it is potentially responsible, spacious, practical, front engine, fast and powerful, and it looks badass, but I bet it sounds like crap. Oh, for f sake! Okay, I'm sure you get my drift by now. I have a confession to make. I am a huge fan of the Porsche Panamera. When I first saw the pictures of it, when it first got unveiled, I was like everyone else, and I thought Porsche had made a huge mistake with this car. It looked ugly and disproportionate, and I didn't see the point. And then I actually saw one in front of me. And then I drove one. And since then, I've been a Panamera fanboy. This car is absolutely fantastic, and it gets a rough ride for no reason. Now obviously, if you could pick any car from the Porsche lineup to have as your own, you would pick the 980. Or if you're being a bit more modest, something from the 911 variants. And that makes a lot of sense, and truly I would prefer that as well. But I live in the real world. I have two kids. I have to ferry stuff back and forth and I need an element of practicality in my life. And frankly, a 911 on the drive would look great, but wouldn't really get me anywhere. The Panamera, on the other hand, has everything in it I want from a Porsche. It's got performance, handling, power, and yes, the looks as well. But on top of that, it's got room for my kids in the back and all the luggage we could possibly throw at it. This is the Porsche for the real world. This is the Porsche for the real driver. This is my Porsche of choice.
Now, I might not have been able to change your mind in this video about the Porsche Panamera, and that's fair enough, but the next time you see one, do me a solid. Forget everything you've thought about it so far, and everything you've heard, and everything you've read about it, and try and look at it with fresh eyes. I'm convinced if you give this car a shot from scratch, you'll see what I've been seeing for years, that this here has been hiding in plain sight this entire time, and it's one of the best cars on the road today.